February 2021, Texas was hit by a devastating freeze, which affected everyone personally, but it also severely impacted our coastal fisheries. We were in a tournament shortly thereafter, uh, the, the freeze, and we just noticed that these trout had not recovered yet. Their skin was, was mushed. Um, nothing was right on those fish. Nothing looked healthy. And here I am catching them. There is a minimum estimate that Texas Parks and Wildlife has generated, and that number is 3.8 million fish were killed. It probably would have been one of the best winters I had uh, for trout, but what's more important, you know, my, my own fun or the future and the health of, of the fishing? I mean, eventually the fisheries will recover. These fish have been around for eons and they've been through many freezes during that time period, but we have a unique opportunity to expedite that recovery. CCA is a conservation-based organization. We're really focused on the conservation of marine natural resources and anglers access to them. The restoration of redfish started in Texas. Um, there was rampant gill netting, out of control, harvesting red drum, and those populations got decimated. And there were anglers and concerned folks who saw that this was not going the right direction. So they got involved. And so from the Redfish Wars came this conservation ethic and this amazing model to make a difference in our resources. Guys like CCA, they have those tools and resources to pull data, to look at numbers, uh, to get our fishery back to normal. We have hatcheries along the coast of Texas, so what we're doing is working with Texas Parks and Wildlife to put more fish out into the bays. And so we've already relined some of their ponds where they grow the fingerlings out, ponds that were previously unusable. So we've got those back into operation, which is gonna expedite that recovery. The bays matter, the ocean matters, freshwater inflows matter. We have to think about the the impacts that we have no matter where we live. Getting involved, staying informed, and making sure you can make a difference when it matters is the key thing for people. Once you get involved, you'll find fellow anglers and you'll really find the energy, that inspiration that found at CCA. To do what's right and to do what's important and do my part to take care of my own fishery, I'm proud to be a part of that. <laughs>